So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, some peptides that I've been using myself. Um, I spoke a little bit in my last video, but I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I really need to like go over this some more. So um, when I, I had ankle surgery, uh, it was uh, about three years ago, I had my ankle rebuilt with uh, a... Um, uh, built-in brace put in uh, for my ligaments there. And um, I, I had recently learned about peptides, so I went ahead and I started using it then. Um, so, um, and I, I kind of got hooked because I, I saw such a huge difference it was making with um, my healing rate in like days where I didn't do it, how much more my pain was. I mean, immediately from the immediate time I did an injection, I had immediate like pain relief and anti -infl like infl inflammation. Um, I mean, it was like incredible. Um, so, uh, and I could tell that my scar was healing way better in the past. I keloid, so like my scars are horrible and it was not <clears throat> having as bad of keloids and it was much less inflamed and healing faster, um, even though I was much older. I mean, the last time I had my ankle surgery done had been when I was like a teenager. So, um, yeah. So, being close to 40, it should, shouldn't be healing better. <laughs> so, it definitely made a huge difference. Um, and then from there, I kind of started adding some more peptides. I added like the... Um, TB500, I started adding um, in, in um, let's see, I'm just gonna cover those today. Just gonna cover those today, yeah. Cause that's, I feel like a whole nother subject. Um, but those two together, I know, dramatically have helped. And um, I recently did some research um, and to see like what kind of studies there are are on this right now. So right now there's like a study where they did it on rats um, and it showed to heal like the, heal the, the wound healing like dramatically. But now they're also sh like, there's all kinds of other information out there that, um, and I'll put the link down here where it, it can help with esophagus, stomach, um, intestinal, liver, pancreatic lesions, um, alcohol induced, um, lesions, um, it helps to reverse arthritis, um, helps with lower esophageal fixer, um, heals, um, intestinal wall, uh, it helps with, uh, brain lesions as well. It's showing to help with depression. Um, I mean, it's, crazy uh I mean, I mean it makes perfect sense in some ways though too because it it's it helps repair your connective tissue so especially with somebody who has eds like me it's gonna like help repair a lot of the damage that my eds is doing um i think eventually it will be something that we use to fix um i don't know i don't know we, I, it won't fix eds but used as like a treatment to help counteract a lot of, I think, the stuff we have with EDS. Um, and maybe there'll be other like peptides that are kind of like mixed in there with it. Um, but I think that's really interesting. So do your own research for sure. Um, but I find this really fascinating. And if you do have EDS um, or another connective tissue issue, I'll look into this. Um, I, I mean, I, uh, you know, if you have any back injuries, uh, damage from like arthritis, um, any of those kind of issues, I have been having problems from taking too much, um, anti-inflammatories. So the lining of my stomach, I have gastritis and it has been helping to improve that. I, I've been taking that with also, um, the glucosamine large doses at that. Um, as well as like slippery elm bark um, to help uh, heal my gas gastritis. 
I have like there was thickening on my um, on my s small intestines as well. Um, so this has made a huge like huge difference for me um, where it was was just continuing to get worse and I didn't know where where I was gonna end up. <laughs> my intestines were just completely destroying themselves so um it's, it's made a big difference but um i hope this helps some of you out there uh that's it bye